you know, today was an absolutely beautiful day. You know, it was uh, approximately about 82 degrees and sunny and uh, just a beautiful spring day. But tomorrow it's a high of 58 and lots of rain. But you know, that's, that's spring in Virginia. So it's good. It's good, you know, the rain is good for the gardens. It, helpful for the, especially my herb garden. Hello, my friends. Chef Blondie here. Spring is here. What could be better than making a dish with a name that literally means springtime? Today, my test kitchen staff and I are going to try out the versatile pasta dish called pasta Primavera. Jacques Papin adapted a recipe made by his friend Ed Giobi. Jacques so loved the recipe that it appears in at least four of his cookbooks. It's so simple. All you need to do is cook the pasta, prepare a salad of any vegetables that are in season, and as you will see, microwaving the vegetables helps the dish to come together quickly. When prepared with the help of your children and grandchildren, pasta primavera becomes special. Jacques' recipe gives you the opportunity to share in making a simple, tasty dish. It teaches the young ones in your life about the joys of fresh seasonal ingredients. And there's nothing better than watching their faces light up as they taste all the vibrant flavors. I know you're gonna love this one. So happy cooking, my friends. Now we're gonna add in our bow tie pasta to the boiling water. And I've added a little bit of salt to the water it calls for 12 ounces, but I think I'm going to put just a little bit less because that's a lot of pasta. Let me turn this up just a little bit. Okay, and then we'll cook this till it's uh, al dente. All right, I think that's enough pasta. All right, we've already started preparing, so let's get these tomatoes chopped up in little pieces and we'll put them in our bowl with all the rest of these veggies. This looks like it's going to be a very good spring pasta dish, which is really what you need this time of year. All right. Then we're going to, all kinds of good vegetables are going to go in here. Um, we've got mushrooms and peas, corn, onion, parsley, and of course, garlic. <laughs> All right, yes. Let's cut again. And always be careful when you're using a sharp knife because you don't want to cut yourself. <laughs> and I love these uh, bench scrapers. They're really good to just get all your ingredients in the bowl. There we go. Now we're going to add about one third cup of coarsely chopped onion, which is about a half an onion. Okay, now that's done. Let's go on to the garlic. Now we've got the one tablespoon of chopped uh, garlic, which is about, about two cloves. So let's add that. You know what? When you chop up garlic, boy, it's sticky. <laughs> and our garlic is looking really good. So I just can't wait when the scapes come up. All right, I guess the next thing we're gonna do is chop up the mushrooms. Now we're gonna add the mushrooms. It calls for about a half a cup, but I like mushrooms, so we're gonna add just a little bit more. So let's get these chopped. 
coarsely chopped. And our pasta is cooking away over there and then we will reserve about a cup of the pasta water just in case uh, it's a little bit dry and we need just a little bit more liquid in there. All right. And you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and add the peas and the corn. So this was, uh, what was it, a third of a cup? Yeah. No, two-thirds cup of frozen peas and two-thirds cup of frozen corn defrosted. So we're going to add those, add the corn. Oh, corn always sticks. Okay, now we're going to add our chopped up parsley. Then we're going to add some salt and pepper, the olive oil. And then we're going to take these veggies and we're going to put them in the microwave for approximately a minute and a half just to soften them up a little. <laughs> you know, and this recipe calls for two teaspoons of salt. But frankly, I just think that's a little too much. So I'm going to start with just a half teaspoon. And maybe just a little bit more. And I'll leave that up to you, you know, because you decide what you want. You know what? We always use Redmond salt. It is the best. And we're going to add some freshly ground black pepper. It calls for quite a bit of pepper. And now we're going to add a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to give this a little stir. You know, it really smells good. <laughs> Looking forward to this one. Oh, yeah. I smell that garlic. All right, let's get this in the microwave for approximately a minute and a half to two. Okay, so let's do 145. Try that. There we go. Okay, we've got our veggies that have been cooking for approximately one minute, 45 seconds, just to soften them and get them warm. Now we're gonna add our pasta and our cheese. All right, let's add our bow ties on here. Oh, we're getting full. I always want it once I hang up. Oh, this is looking really good. And I'm glad I didn't add the extra pasta because that would have been way too much. And I don't know that I'm going to need the extra water. But we'll see. So how does that look to you? What do you think so far? All right, now we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese that we've just freshly grated. Approximately, what, a third of a cup, I think? Yep. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Looks good. Yeah, like I said, I don't think we're gonna need any extra water. There we go. And now the next big test is how does this taste? I wish I had one of my grandchildren here. It was just yesterday, I had a grandson here. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's give this a try. You know, isn't that a beautiful little dish? My uh, oldest daughter gave this to me. I just, I just think it's so pretty. So let's just put some uh, pasta primavera in here. And I always, I thank Jacques and Shori for this wonderful dish. And uh, yeah, that should do. 
smooth it over a little bit. And then now uh, just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it, just a little bit. And you know what? I wish I had some of my hubby's sourdough bread. Oh my gosh, he makes the best sourdough bread. And I'm going to be doing some sourdough muffins for you. All right, let's give this a try. These are big boat dice. Mm. This is really good. And you know what? That was just enough salt. It's just absolutely wonderful. I might add just a little bit more pepper to it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is the perfect spring dish. Happy cooking.